It's a Bantamweight matchup between Dominic Cruz and Sugar Sean O'Malley. All right, so here we go with the stand-up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. Not many rules, but you can't grapple at all. No wrestling of any kind. You also are not permitted to do follow-up strikes on the floor. We are underway. The Dominator gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Really missed with that right hand. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Oh, he landed it. Slightly deflected. Big shots. There's a nice inside leg kick. And continues with the inside leg kick. Good defense there. O'Malley gets hit with a kick. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Nice inside leg kick. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. O'Malley gets caught by another leg kick. There's a good knee to the body. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Trying to hammer that lead leg. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Cruz gets absolutely punished by that head. Look at Fink with that punch. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Now mixes one into the body. Oh, and he goes up top with a kick. He faints with the kick. Into the body with that knee. Oh! Oh! Big left hand! He's got him here. Oh, nice knee! He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Wow! 30 seconds to go. Inside leg kick is there by Dominic Cruz. Oh! He's in trouble right now. Here's another look at it here. Second round underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Beautiful inside leg kick. Oh, how about the... Oh! that chin. Left hand lands flush over the top. O'Malley's strike attempt there is blocked. Trademark inside leg kick there by Dominic Cruz. Oh! O'Malley getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Cruz going for the head kick. He misses there. Inside leg kick is there. 
Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Visibly limping here. Nice body shot. And he lands the knee to the body now. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Sean O'Malley. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Now tripling up on the jet. Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. Lands to the body there. Full defense to block the strike coming back. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches and bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Constantly a moving target. Cruz gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Under a minute now in round two. Nice defense there, huge block. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Absolutely. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Sean O'Malley. Oh, the left leg goes high. Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? Big knee to the body. He to the liver. He's hit back. This is combo there. And that's the end of round number two. Oh, huge body shot, and it comes. Here we go. Final round. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Third round underway. Fainting with that kick. Oh, very nice leg kick there. High-level stuff. Now they're throwing down. It appears that cut is getting worse. All right, straight ahead, we get to a middleweight matchup between Robbie Lawler and Vanderlei Silva. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? First All right, so here we go with the stand-up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. Not any rules, but you can't grapple at all. No wrestling at all. He hurt him. There's a nice inside leg kick. Very good 
job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Oh, look at that, though. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, he tagged him. Bobby Lawler, he's badly hurt. Oh, straight right. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. And we got a fight on our hands. Nice leg kick. Oh! Lawler is going for it. How about that chin? Well, when you lean in like that, you're going to be vulnerable to those straight punches to the body, and it landed right there. He left the body wide open, and his opponent took advantage. Oh, he gets tagged! He's got him hurt here. The big right oh, hand! he's tagging him! Oh, very nice. Big straight punch! He lands a huge elbow to the head. Powerful jab. Slants a nice one, too. Yeah, he's there oh, again. Oh, body shot. He's hurt to the body. You can tell that shot hurt him bad. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Lawler. Ooh. Tagged him. And both guys really throwing with authority. gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, that one of these guys oh, doesn't get knocked out. That hurt him. Big oh, power so in that hook. That hook Joe. Nice head kick. Oh! What a leg kick. Well, Joe, he seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good... Oh! He's, him. He's got him hurt here. For him. Nice kick to the midsection. Yeah, oh. looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's right. Big left. Knee to the body. Oh, flying knee. Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. Oh, we heard him again. He is rocked. That bruise on his outer thigh is really getting nasty. Oh. Nice leg kick. He's got him right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. There's a nice inside leg kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! 
Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the ball. Oh, he hurt him again. He is clearly in big, big trouble here. A huge kick for the knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. That might be the biggest highlight of his UFC career. He certainly didn't telegraph it, but he got full force and extension behind it, and his opponent had absolutely no chance after that weapon was thrown. A perfect land and perfect execution to get the knockout with that kick here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Coming up next, a middleweight tilt between George St. Pierre and Vanderlei Silva. You ready? You ready? All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rule set. Not a whole lot of that, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Nice punch by Vanderlei Silva. St. Pierre's kick, that one blocked. Nice. Beautiful timing on that leg kick. So both he tagged him. This could be it. about that chin well his opponent's got the read now joe as he lands the punch to the head he's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count caught him with a punch visibly limping here good defense there for the flying knee and lands it right on the button. Yeah, Joe, that was a hard and fast knee he used to get the stoppage here tonight. And I don't have to tell you this as a lifelong striker, but the knees don't always look like much, but sometimes it's more about location than it is velocity. And the force from a well-thrown knee is like nothing else in mixed martial arts, not something that is fun to get hit with. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, George Rush St.
gorgeous. She gon' make a playboy pay her mortgage. Escape in the rave, fake head the fortress. Don't get the picture, stay out the portrait. Shouty, you know damn well you know me. Caught you outside, damn yeah, but tell me. She a diva and she know that. We get to a lightweight bout between Justin Gaethje and Edson Barboza. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, go. so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys gotta play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see. Oh! Is going after it here. Big knee to the body. Lands some clean knees. And those knees aren't just. Oh, oh, he's got one here. Oh, he might be out. The left hook hits home. Knee to the body. How about that chin? Ooh. That's a powerful body kick right there. This is a fast-paced fight. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Gaethje. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected. Oh, oh that one hurt. This could be it. Oh. oh, he might be out. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. This could be it right here. Oh, very nice. Went for the head kick. Right to the liver. He's hurt to the body. He landed that punch flush. Good combination. Kick to the body by Gaethje. Watch the shot here, Joe. And there's a nice straight right. There's that knee to the body as well. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Hard hook. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, significant strike attempt there. What a wow. huge blow. Oh, he's in big, big trouble here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Defense there, huge block for him. Big knee to the body. Going to the body there with the right kick. Gaethje's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Barboza gets hit by that leg kick. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Nice punch by Edson Jr. Barboza. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Oh! He's got him knocked down! Body kick, look at that! Gaethje gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Getting the hands going here early. Oh! Fainting. Just misses with the straight right. Nice kick there by Edson Barboza. That punch will work right through the door. So he continues to land knees here, Joe, seemingly at will. And these are really starting to do damage. His opponent has got to do something, anything, to try to get a block up and get in the way of these strikes. Oh! Pretty good knee to the body by Gaethje. Oh, how clean is that jab by Edson Jr. Barboza? Head kick attempt. That'll work. Good defense there. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh! 
45 seconds to go here in round one. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Roundhouse kick, Joe, unable to find the target. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. High kick. That's a powerful hook to the head. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, oh he clipped him! He's gotta be careful here, he's in trouble. to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were... Stop! Here we go, second round. You ready? You ready? Let's second go. round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, that one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. And he continues to work the body here. Barboza gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Check that one. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Huge block there. Punch. Oh! Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to screw oh! 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 He hurt him! Oh, He's that's out. it! It's over! Beautiful knockout! Tremendous hook, landed flush for the victory. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Take a look at this from a... Are we go inside the octagon now? We're... We gotta get it. They hated Esco. They hated Escobar. I'm still here. Davies, talk that talk. Streets need that. Uh, uh, NYC, uh, LA, uh, Chicago, right. Detroit, uh, the whole world. Uh, 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 Let's get uh, it. Now I had a basic plan, get out the projects and never look back. Could still smell the aroma from when my uncle was between homies better yet brothers that used to spend the night with each other they moms was best friends one name was anthony the hood called him in live kept his pistol on him so he bought a bigger pin size he got a little colder the moment he watched his man die that was 10 years ago baby face wishing that his beard would grow now he throw his set up anyway go he's just a product of his environment told me he'd rather die than never go to right